up guys it's Neko and I'm back with another freaking video and in this video we're going to be trying the Posca Marcus this poster Marcus the Japanese uni Posca Posca pens I'm late on the trend but I got it and I'm ready to try it out I'm super excited if you're new to this channel and you like watching people review art supplies and you like reviews on art supplies and different types of art videos like that then you should definitely subscribe to my channel because I've been putting more reviews into these, the channel this, these days so if you want to subscribe subscribe join the party neckle gang and let's get on right into unboxing these Posca pens all right let's go yeah I'm so I'm super excited I ordered these off Amazon and Clearly, there's a whole bunch of Japanese on it, and I can't read Japanese, so I don't know. But guys, look, I got a new surface. So I basically got some contact paper, and I put it on my desk, which was like a wooden surface before. But I put on some marble contact paper that I got from Amazon. Look at it. Isn't it cute? Like, I like it a lot. Um, it's a bit pretty reflective, but, you know, I like it nevertheless. But, yeah. Let's open up these pasta markers. So let me zoom you guys back in. Hope you guys had a good day today. You know, I started working earlier shifts at work. So now I'm off work earlier now. So I can come home and make videos like this. So I'm super excited. So, I got the 15 pack. I think this cost, ran me about mm, $23, I believe. But um, that's a bit pricey if you ask me. But, nevertheless, I feel like they will be a good time. So, let's open up these bad boys and see what we can do. So, let's see. How do we open this without tearing up the box? I would like to keep them in the box. Because I don't really have space for anything in, this, in my workstation. So, I'm trying not to ruin the box. So, let's see. Oh. Okay. Cool. So, I got 15 colors. And I believe I got the size medium. So these are the markers. Look how pretty. I like. I like it. Like I'm super excited to use these. Yep. So let me get out some paper and we'll start to swatch the Posca markers. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna pull out a piece of paper. So um being that these are supposed to be like paint markers, I'll just pull out a piece of my watercolor paper to start off with if anything so that you know it's just a little better okay so let's swatch these paint markers do, 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 do. so I don't have to pull off any kind of wrapping in some other people's videos they had to pull off wrapping but I didn't I believe these are the medium size of Posca. I'm not sure. I believe these are the medium size. But let's open it up and find out. So let's just take it. Yeah, so these are like the medium nib. Ooh, you got that's not even a few. So this is the nib. They come unactivated. So I believe from what I've seen from most people online or most reviews is you shake it. Shake, 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 shake. I'm not sure how long you supposed to shake it, but you shake it to I like, guess ooh to I guess to move the paint around and then you go ahead and put it on. But um I just put this contact paper down and I really don't want to mess it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down one of my felts that I use to take pictures with and I'm gonna put that down here, right here, because I'm really gonna be safe with this this new table. Cause my last the, the wooden part of the table got messed up by Ohuhu markers and it bled through. This shouldn't bleed through, but I just want to take precaution because I don't want to mess my table up. Okay, so let's do it. I shook it up. And now I guess you just press to make the paint come. Oh, it's coming. Yay! Can you guys see it? It's changing. It changed. Nice. Okay, here's our first go. Let's zoom it in. Do, 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 do. You guys ready for this? The first stroke. 
Oh. Mm. Smooth. Mm. Very opaque. Very opaque. I like this. Nice. Okay, so that's the first thing. So I'm gonna speed you guys up and I'm So that first squatch was super opaque and amazing. Oh my god. So I was super super excited to squatch the rest. So I just, you know, shook all of them up and squatch, shook them and swatch, shook them and swatch, and it was so much fun to activate the markers and see how saturated each and every color was i definitely definitely feel like i should have got more colors but you know i always tell myself like let me get a medium pack of the colors for the first try and then i build upon the collection as i go but i always end up getting greedy after that you know that's uh yeah but these colors are really nice um they're really easy to apply to the paper um very 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 opaque like literally like I never thought to like use paint markers before but I did have a, f a lot of fun swatching these colors as you can see me doing here I like these different colors I'm I don't really use these colors a lot either which is very a little bit challenging for me I've already came into this feeling a little you know out of my comfort zone because I don't really use colors like this on like like you know I use more pastel colors so but I've been trying to break that as of recently as i've been doing all these like new marker reviews and stuff i've usually have been having to use darker colors and try to you know make a picture out of them so it's been challenging but i've also been having a lot of fun with it so these are all the colors and then i decided to try the white over um all of them because obviously if i put white down you're not going to see it on the paper and also, you know, they go over each other so easily, each color. So uh, this was a good representation of how great the white is. The white is amazing. If anything, I might actually get a thinner white pen of the Posca pen because apparently it just goes over anything. Um, I kind of like made the white come out too much, so they kind of smudge, but they pretty much dry pretty fast. So I think it'll be good. I think you just have to have like a little patience when it comes to like, if you put too much paint but other than that it was really 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 good um yeah i'm super excited because you haven't noticed um yeah I, I know these pens have been floating around the internet for a while and, and i never really thought to try them out but i've just been seeing them so many so much times in my recommended box like um drawing with waffles used them casey golden used them i know i originally first heard about them from doodle date I don't know if you guys watched them on YouTube, but like I heard about them from Doodle Date initially, and then I just started seeing a whole bunch of my other favorite senpais using it. So I was like, "Yo, I want to try these markers." And plus, you know, I've been having a lot of fun like reviewing art supplies and stuff. You know, it's fun. So as I usually do, whenever I have a trial of markers, I usually try and see how these blend. Um, I don't really see a lot of people like using the Posca pens, like blending them together, but I just want to try for my own sake and see if, you know, they are blendable. They're like somewhat blendable, but I don't think that's the purpose of them, but you can get like a blending effect. I know I've seen in some other reviews where people like use watercolor because they, they are water soluble um, to stretch it out and make different kinds of effects. I didn't do that in this review because... I just wanted to review the, var the markers as they are and maybe in another video because I will be doing another video like showing you guys like other stuff that I'm going to do with the Posca pens because apparently they can go on glass surfaces, wood surfaces, and all other types of surfaces. So I will do that in another video but I just want to use the markers for at on their own in this video and see like the type of things that I can do with them. And so far I really like them. I really like how much like the, co the color comes out so saturated and deep like i just love 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 that effect i feel like it's really dope and it's amazing and it's just it's just awesome i really 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 mess with it so yeah this is me just like trying out some colors and see how if we can like get like a regular blendy effect with them and you can sort of kind of do it but you have to be careful these markers eat a paper a lot i'm using a watercolor piece of paper it is cold press 100 percent cotton 
So if you go too hard on the paper, like it will start to eat up the paper. I already knew this coming into like trying and trying out these markers. I knew that to begin with, so I'm okay with that. Um, I know that you got to use like a little bit of a non-textured paper to help you have less of that effect, but I don't feel like that's a big, big, big factor in my reviewing process. So yeah, they are marker pens. Um, they do the damn job. They do the damn job. So I decided to just do like a random character with these. Like I said, I have to, when I get like new packs of stuff like this and I don't really have my pastel colors, I just get a little, a little flustered, but it's not that much of a big 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 deal um i feel like the only thing is that this is on my part like i need to like get more markers that have the in between colors because i'm like that's like something i crutch on when i do art like i have to have like a lighter green and a darker green a lighter blue and a darker blue like something to like put them together with so that's like a only like that's like a personal thing for me but um otherwise um the marker set was amazing. The, the 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 color selection is good. As you can see, the colors are very vibrant and everything like that. And yeah, I don't really have many complaints. Um, yeah, I don't really have any complaints surprisingly. But yeah, so I decided to go ahead and sketch out something for me to draw. I got my kneaded eraser because I know that the markers are super super opaque, and you you know you can't once you lay it down you really can't see a line out. So I decided to use my kneaded eraser to pull up some of the line work and so that I'm able to see my lines and also lay down the colors at the same time. That was a little bit of a comfort zone tickler because I really don't make art like this. Like It's kind of like you're drawing in a lineless style when you're using, using these and I like that too because lineless is a nice style as well. But I feel like People who have lineless kind of styles would benefit and love these markers because you know you guys don't really use your line art as a crutch. Me, my line art is my crutch, so that's something that I have to like work on when it comes to watercolor one and these new Posca pens. Cause I do, I really want to like learn how to use them more. Um, let's talk about the size that I got. I got, I think, um, uh, the medium size. There's, like, so many sizes on Amazon. It's kind of, kind of confusing, to be honest. I'm not even going to hold you. But, um, yeah, it was kind of confusing. But these are medium. Uh, do I think this, this size is really good for coloring and stuff. But I could see myself getting, like, maybe a large color in certain sizes. And maybe I should have gotten the finer ones. I'm not entirely sure if if i want i'm not mad at the medium size i feel like it's a good in between size but you can't really get that much precise detail with the medium size like the medium size might be good for like filling in like stuff too but like if you're gonna do the whole art in the medium size i'm not sure like i feel like i need to review the fine and have the fine working with the medium to like see I don't think I would need the large, maybe in a certain color, maybe like black or like maybe a color that I know I'm going to be filling in large surfaces of, of paint with. But if you guys are going to get these, I do recommend you um, see about the sizing because I feel like that could either like break or make your experience. But I don't think my experience was broken by me getting the medium size. I think it was good. Um, I do want to start drawing larger illustrations, so that's fine. And I do need practice with them, so I'm not I'm not mad. I'm good. Um, yeah, so this was the review on the Posca pens. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you hear my dog crying in the background, I'm sorry. He cries a lot when um, my boyfriend's grandma leaves the house because he's a crybaby. So I don't know what to tell you guys about that but you got my nerves but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you to all the people who have been commenting and you know at the end of the video because i've been leaving like little little like things in in the middle of the video to see if people are actually watching my freaking video so today's little thing that i'm gonna put to see if you guys watch my video to the very end uh maybe i'll ask you guys today uh hmm What's your favorite color? Since we are talking about colors and coloring and everything like that in this video, you guys to tell me your favorite color in the description box below. And okay, my favorite color is, I can't say black because black is not a color. My favorite color is red. I like red. That's my favorite color. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comment section below your favorite color and let me know if there's any 
types of water supplies that you guys want me to review. So you have two today. Favorite color and let me know if there's any types of types of art supplies that I should review. It doesn't have to be markers. It could be anything. I'm pretty much open to anything. Um, probably gonna start doing some giveaways because I don't want to keep all the art supplies I get. Like, not that I won't like it. If I love the art supplies, then I'll probably keep it. But if I don't, then I would like to give it to somebody who would be happy to receive a different kind of art supplies. So look out for stuff like that in the near future because I don't want to hoard art supplies that I'm not using. So I'll be doing giveaways. But anyways... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you're new to this channel, hit the like button, subscribe, join the Party Neko gang, follow me on my Instagram at Party Neko, and turn on my post notifications if you're a reoccurring fam. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys in my next freaking video. Bye. Hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Don't get in trouble. Don't curse nobody out. <laughs> have a good day. See you later. Bye.